The city of Durham, with its medieval castle, cathedral, and cobbled market square, is one of the most beautiful places in England. And I know Durham well. I lived here for about five years and did my PhD at Durham University. But tonight, I'm going to be seeing these familiar landmarks in a way I've never seen them before. It's the Lumiere Light Festival. The Lumiere Festival is a, is a unique event that um, happens in Durham every two years and it's difficult to describe. It's a transformation of the city of Durham by a series of um, 20 or more displays all based on light and it's just magic. I had the huge fortune to be involved in what I regard as one of the most unique things I've done in my life, which was to take part in the design, the development and the construction of one of the exhibits, if you can call it that, uh, called the World Machine. So the, the World Machine is a projection onto the facade of this thousand year old majestic beautiful building of cosmolo cosmological topics. The uh, goal of the World Machine is to tell, essentially to chart the development of cosmological ideas throughout, if you like, the lifetime of the cathedral. The World Machine wasn't the only physics-related installation at the Lumiere in 2015. Outside the cathedral and down by the banks of the River Weir, physicist Richard Hornby braved the torrential rain to talk about his work, Rainbow River. And I'm the artist behind this work, Rainbow River, which I worked on with my colleague Alison Lowry. The installation is all about light and how white light can be split up into a range of colours. So we have the, uh, a simple prism you know, based on Isaac Newton's work, which takes a white light beam and disperses it into colours across the river. The main scientific message is that science, the science of light doesn't have to become really complicated and dominated by equations, and that really you can experience science in everyday life just by looking at how light changes direction through materials. When you go over the other side, you hear people discussing the installation, talking about how the light is dispersing and talking to each other and sharing their scientific knowledge. As from older people to younger people, everyone seems to be having a discussion about the science of light, which I think is really amazing. 